Camera Lucida is a centuries old drawing tool used to capture lifelike images before the invention of photography. Peering through a Camera Lucida, you will see a ghost image of your subject over your drawing surface, allowing even an unskilled user the ability to note down what they are witnessing. Brought out of obscurity by the likes of David Hockney and Pablo Garcia, Camera Lucida is a fascinating device, and I have a longer video exploring its history through an interview with Pablo. In this video, I'll go over two different designs that you could print at home. Both designs use the same optical arrangement of a mirror at a 45 degree angle to a piece of glass. I'm using the cheapest glass and mirror I could find, but there is a correct choice of material here, and I'll go back to Pablo for a better explanation of this. Uh, in 2017, when I made the Neo Lucida XL, um, there was an interest in making a, a one that was easier to use with a slightly larger viewing area, and that's what the see-through Camera Lucida can do. So uh, this is the Neo Lucida XL. Now, the difference is between this and the toy is that the mirror here is a first surface mirror, which means that it's not a piece of glass with a mirroring backing behind it, which in the thickness of that glass, you can get kind of like little internal reflections. So the, the front surface of this is a, is a very, very sharp optical mirror. And then the glass itself, you can kind of see it's not just pure glass, it's partially silvered, meaning it has some reflective qualities uh, more than just an ordinary piece of glass. And this is important because you need to have some balance of the internal reflections so that some of your vision goes back into the mirror. On a bright day, this is pure glass. You'll look straight through and it'll be very, very hard to see the reflections uh, going in between. Uh, so this piece here that I have, that's a, that's a sample, you know, kind of shows a little bit of that reflective quality. You can kind of see, there you go. You can kind of see through the, the glass itself, uh, but it has a certain amount of very sharp reflective qualities. Moving on to the build. If all you want is a basic camera lucida, then I just finished a model that only needs four parts to print. It takes about two hours to print and is assembled with four 2mm screws. I mounted mine to an old lamp from IKEA. My more complex design takes a lot more effort to make. It collapses and folds out from a case that doubles as a stand, making it the most portable camera lucida that exists. There's a parts list in the description. To begin with, Let's build the eyepiece. Cut your glass of choice to size, and glue the mirror into this recess here, and your clear glass into the hinge components, making sure they are aligned the correct way. Glue a M6 nut into its housing, then glue this housing into the recess on the back of the eyepiece. The most complex part of the eyepiece is the latch. Using a 2mm drill bit, drill out only the holes highlighted on screen now. Using a small hammer, gently tap in the rod through one of the arms. Then, just before it exits the other side, insert the other arm and tap the rod all the way through to hold them in place. Then, using two bolts, attach the outer frame to the arms. Finally, with four M2 bolts, assemble each side of the eyepiece. It should cleanly latch together. Moving on to the case. There are two case varieties, one with and one without the symbol representing the optical mechanism of the camera lucida. If you have the laser cut inserts, now is a good time to use a small hammer to tap them into position. With that done, we can assemble the next latch. First, drill out the marked holes with a 2mm bit. Then, using more 2mm rod, tap a length into place on the latch mechanism. Following this, six more M2 bolts can be used to fasten the hinge and latch in place. Before the internal components can be installed, two captive nuts need to be put in place here and here. Finally, before we continue, a circle of elastic should be sewn into the gap here to hold the darkening filter. Starting with the case, we can do arguably the most fun part of the whole build process which is to clip these inserts in. Um, these are a pretty tight press fit and should just fit in nicely like that. Um, I've never glued mine. You could. It would probably be advisable, but as you can see, these are tight but easy fit. 
and should go in with some beans. This piece in as well. Nicely, and we can do our felt inserts as well. Now, I mentioned a couple of times these are not necessary, but they're really satisfying um, and definitely help in protecting all the little internal components as well. So, these probably wouldn't actually be too hard to cut out by hand if you don't have a laser, um, but I obviously do. Thanks for the tour. Glue your M6 hardware into its respective knurled knobs. So we've got a little O-ring, which goes in there. I made this out of a bike tube. Uh, do the arm. So doing this is hard enough when I'm not trying to stay out of the way of a camera. I think I'd be better at that by now. Okay, there we go. Tighten that in place into that captive nut we installed earlier. Gonna untighten that a little. Install the other half of the arm. These two will live in here. Alongside a little strip of microfiber cloth for lens cleaning. And finally, your camera lucida itself. Close up like that. And that should conclude building your camera lucida. You may notice that I didn't actually touch on building the darkening filter. That's because I'm still kind of reworking it, so I don't want incorrect information to be locked into this video. It's pretty simple anyways, there'll be instructions on the printables page. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Happy making, files are linked in the description.